Okay, so in this video what we're going to be looking at is how to use a ProTech 3003B power supply. And what I'm going to do to start off this video is just explain some of the different uh, knobs, buttons, and terminals and display here on the outside of the, or in the front of the power supply. Uh, let's start from the lower left. Over here we have the power button. Down here we have three terminal outputs. We have a negative terminal output, a positive terminal output, and a ground out, uh, output here. Uh, for the purpose of uh, making sure that you guys remain safe, you should actually connect the negative and the ground together uh, in order to make sure that any uh, if there's too much current coming out of the system, then it will automatically be sent towards ground. The output from the DC power supply, you can get a maximum of 30 volts and 3 amps from this power supply and a minimum of 0 volts and 0 amps from the power supply. Okay? A uh, few more uh, things that you need to know about this power supply. Over here we have uh, three. we have three different buttons on here. We have one for adjusting the voltage, a coarse button for uh, adjusting the voltage, and we have a fine button for, or knob, sorry, for adjusting the uh, voltage. So let's turn this on real quick and take a look at how this works. And so what you'll notice here is that if I turn this knob here, the numbers increase uh, pretty fast. But if I turn this knob at the bottom, they increase at a slower rate as I turn the knob uh, clockwise. Okay, so these knobs here adjust the voltage of the power supply. This one here adjusts the current for the power supply. Okay, they adjust the current for the power supply. Uh, we also have a couple of LEDs here at the top. Um, one LED here indicates when we have a constant voltage being produced by the voltage source, the power supply, and this one indicates when we have a constant current being produced by the uh, supply. Okay, so let's uh, look at doing a, a couple other things here. We have a couple of buttons here at the top. If we want to, let's say, obtain a constant current coming from the power supply, and we know what that constant current is. Uh, we can push this button in and adjust the current from there unless we need to turn the voltage up just a little bit in order to do that. So I'd say turn the voltage up about a quarter of the way, push on this button, and we can we can uh, set the amount of current that we want to get out of here. Now if it's set to constant voltage and we push the button in and we turn the knob, what we're actually doing is we're setting the limit as to how much current can come out of the power supply. Okay. If we do that, what, what we're doing is setting the current limit. All right, so once we remove our finger from there, what we're saying is that we want a max at any given time to be 0.46 uh, amps coming out of the power supply. So, and you'll notice that the current goes back to being zero on the display, but it's limited to that 0.46. And so currently right now, what we're getting is 1.5 volts coming out of the power supply, okay? Uh, this button over here, this controls whether or not we're getting a voltage output out of the uh, terminal. So if I push the button in, which means that it's on, then I'm going to get 1.6 volts coming out of the terminal. If I pull it, take it out, or push it back out, what happens then is then this will be at zero volts. Okay. So again, this volt, this knob over here is going to control the voltage. Okay, and we're getting a constant voltage. Let's say I want to get a constant current now coming out of this uh, circuit here. So I want to get a constant current. Um, in a case like that, what we, uh, what we would do in order to get that constant current, and I guess I should have explained these a little bit earlier. These terminals here, typically what you want to do is you want to connect uh, cables into them. Okay, so I'm going to connect my black into the negative terminal and the red into the positive terminal. They do not have to be these specific colors, but uh, color conventions, we usually use black for negative and red for positive, okay? And once I connect the two of those on there and my button is in, I'm going to get 2.7 volts coming out of these terminals, okay? And I can connect my uh, 
my cables onto any circuit that I'm using. Uh, let's say, for instance, I have a circuit where um, there's a short, okay? So I connect these two together here, and what you'll notice is, remember a minute ago we set the current limiting to be uh, 0.46, and you notice right now, now that I've shorted this out, I'm limited to, and, and right now I'm getting a constant current out of here, and that limit here that uh, we set before is just about met when we actually do this here, okay? So right now we have a constant current coming out, and it's approximately 0.44 uh, is the current that's coming out. If I want to adjust the current in this case, the, the, um, the maximum amount of current coming out of the circuit, I can go ahead and change this and continue changes. And by the way, you need to make sure that you do have some voltage coming out of the circuit in order to get the constant current. So I can adjust this here now, and so the current that's actually passing through the cables then would be uh, 1.45 amps that's going in between the two. And again, you want to make sure that you have this grounded so that, um, that you're safe while you're working with this, okay? So again, you have constant current that's set, and that's what's uh, occurring now. If I was to remove, re remove the short from there, it goes back into my constant voltage setting, and so I can adjust the voltage uh, when it's uh, set up in this way, okay? Uh, sometimes you may be required to connect the terminals to a wire. You can actually clip them on there, and again, when you do that, what's going to happen is you're going to end up getting a constant uh, current coming out of the supply and you can adjust the knob here in order to change the amount of current that's coming out. Okay, So that is a demonstration as to how to go about using the Protec 3003B power supply in order to get both constant voltage and a constant current. And by the way, you cannot get both at the same time. You're either going to get a constant voltage or constant current if you're changing the knobs. Okay, So that's how you go about setting the power supply up in order to get either constant voltage or constant uh, uh, current out of the power supply.